Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you, called "Up, Up and Away." Today's memory verse is from Psalm sixty-eight, verse thirty-five. It says, "God gives power and strength to His people." The message for today's story is God gives us power. Do you want to go to heaven? What do you want to see there? What do you want to do? Elijah wanted to go to heaven too. Elijah woke up. A beautiful smile spread over his face. Today was the day. Today was his last day on earth. God had told him so. Today, God would take him home to heaven. Elijah and his special helper Elisha had a conversation. I am going to Bethel to visit the school of the prophets. Elijah said, "You stay here." But Elisha also knew that this was Elijah's last day on earth. I will never leave you, Elisha exclaimed. I will go with you. Elijah and Elisha started on their journey. Elijah visited many of his friends to say goodbye. Late in the afternoon, God told Elijah to cross the Jordan River. The river was deep, and there was no bridge. Elijah stopped at the edge of the river bank and took off his cloak. He rolled it up and hit the water with it. The water was divided. And there was a dry path for Elijah and Elisha to walk across. What can I do for you before the Lord takes me away? Elijah asked his friend. I want to carry on your work, Elisha said. I want help from the Lord. I want Him to give me His power, like He gave it to you. If you see me when I am taken away. You will have what you are asking for," Elijah answered. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a chariot of fire appeared, pulled by horses of fire. The chariot drove right between the two men, and then Elijah was lifted up into the chariot and quickly taken to heaven by a strong wind, called a whirlwind. Elijah dropped his cloak as the chariot took him up. Elisha picked it up and held it close. He looked up into the sky, and he looked as hard as he could. But the chariot of fire and the horses of fire and his friend Elijah had disappeared. Elisha walked back to the Jordan River. He stopped and rolled up Elijah's cloak just as Elijah had done. Then Elisha struck the water with it. The water of the river divided once again. Elisha walked back across the Jordan River on dry land. Now he was sure that he would carry on Elijah's work. Elisha knew that God had given him power. He would serve God just as Elijah had. For all of his days, he was God's servant, and he used the power God gave him to help others. God will give you power too, power to obey Him and to do good all the days of your life. This podcast was brought to you by GraceLink.net. And Studio El Piso in Singapore. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.